you are welcome to this video where i'll be showing you how to perform bank reconciliation statement on quickbooks now this video is a sequel to the quickbooks training we did last week and as it as i promised that i'm going to do another video on how to carry out bank reconciliation we ended up our quickbooks training by posting transaction that occurred throughout the financial year and we ended by generating reports so i promised that i'm going to i was going to do another video on how to carry out bank reconciliation now bank reconciliation is performing bank reconciliation is one of the activities that we get to do as accountants if we work in profit making organizations at the end of the month normally at the end of every month and what bank reconciliation statement does is to ensure that your bank statement for a particular month all the payments and the receipts into your a particular bank account matches with your records of payments and receipts on your quickbooks so we are going to be doing bank reconciliation now so to do bank to the first step in carrying out your bank reconciliation statement it's to go to where you have banking you now go to reconcile now it takes you to this page where you start you begin the reconciliation process so before you begin the reconciliation process you would have gotten the bank statement for the month and the bank you want to do reconciliation with so in this video we did most of our transactions in our training through union bank so we'll be doing bank reconciliation for our union bank account so so this is the page that pops up once you click on the reconcile tab so we want to reconcile our union bank so we already, we already have it selected then the statement date so we want to reconcile as at 31st of january 2022 we want to reconcile for the first month of our financial year which was january 2022 so here we must enter the beginning balance we enter our beginning balance from our statement this is it our closing balance let me switch over to our bank statement so this is our, our union bank statement in our example in our training we did so this is our opening balance and this is our closing balance and this is what i entered here because i started this process earlier that's why most of this figure are still showing on this on this screen so this is a beginning balance this is our closing balance then because normally there would have been bank charges that would have arise during the month we are reconciling and it's possible very possible that we don't know that such charges arise if we got our bank statement only at the end of the month so it's possible that we've seen bank charges that would have arised in the month without us knowing so we'll come here and check we'll now check all the service charges that was charged during the month of january 2022 in our bank statement so if i switch to our bank statement you see that we had on the 13th of january 2022 we had a bank charge of 25 naira and another bank charges of 100 so this total up to 125 naira bank charge so i'll enter it here then the date this date is at at the 31st of this is at at the end of january 2022 is at this date so which account does bank charges go to it goes to bank charges account now in our bank statement we don't have any interest end so we don't have any interest end no interest end so i won't select anything here so i'll click on continue i'll click on continue okay i'm supposed to enter the date here 31st of january 20 22 so we have zero interest in on that account so i can click on reconcile so now it now brings me to this page now let me explain how this page works because this is where we do the bank reconciliation proper now because our example was not that bulky if in a particular month you had so many payments and so many deposits 
that was recorded on your quickbooks you are going to see this place is going to be populated with so many transactions that happened that you paid this column this uh, left column you see all the payments you made that through your quickbooks bank accounts for a particular bank and all the deposits you see them here so to reconcile what you're going to do is you'll be looking at this screen and be checking you call it be checking your bank statement and your record in quickbooks so you'll be seeing you'll be looking at all the transactions here now by my left you see all the checks and payments that were made using quickbooks for a particular bank account in this our case union bank and we we'll see all the deposits and money that entered that account. You see them all listed here because we had our example. Had our example, our training had just few transactions in our learning process. So we had. So what you're going to do? You're going to look at all the transactions here. For like this first transaction, I'm going to check. So if any transaction here, once I check any transaction, it means that that transactions was recorded in our quickbooks and equally in our bank account so i've clicked this and if you look at the screen you see beginning balance items you have marked cleared so every item i click here i means i've cleared that item meaning the item was properly recorded in our quickbooks and the bank equally had that record so i've clicked on that this one too i'll click on it because if i look at my bank statement let me switch my quick book. If I look at my bank statement, you see that I had 250 this trans this subscription that was paid to Health Products Society of Nigeria and fueling of vehicles for the month. So these two transactions occurred in my bank statement and it equally shown in QuickBooks means I recorded them too. So I can clear them by ticking on them, meaning that I've cleared those transactions as having been done both on QuickBooks and on my bank statement. So haven't done that i will now come here this is where i will know if there's any discrepancy now quickbooks is showing me that there's a discrepancy a difference you see my ending balance is supposed to be 17 million two two six one twelve as per bank statement but the balances i've cleared is 16 million seven hundred fifty two six one two it means we have we have a difference of four nine nine four hundred and forty nine thousand nine hundred and nine that's approximately four hundred and fifty and where is that difference coming from in on the 23rd of january 2022 we got an investment return from our mutual fund which came in at 450 so this transaction is being recorded in we don't have this record in our quickbooks but bank has recorded so we have to reconcile that amount so i need to click on reconcile say so there is a four four nine 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 point seven five discrepancy between your statement and the transaction is related so now the action what are the possible actions i need to take to be able to reconcile the transaction so quickbook says actions you can take to correct this discrepancy click on return to reconcile look for transactions that are on your statement but not on quickbooks to finish reconciling later click leave so I want to reconcile immediately so I'll click on return to reconcile so for me to reconcile I'm going to create it I'm going to assume that there's a deposit so I'm going to do the deposit now I'll do to I'm going to do the deposit so what I'm going to do is now I'll switch over to my uh, to my banking I can do a journal to be able to reconcile this because I've identified a transaction that is not re that is not reconciled which is a investment return that got into our bank that we did not record on quickbooks so how do we record this now this is a return that came in it came into our union bank so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a journal entry to, to be able to reconcile this i'll go to make journal entries so what am i reconciling here we have to take note of our debit and credit here now so i'll go to which day did that occur? It occurred on the 23rd of January 2022. So I'll correct my date. This is 23rd of January. 23rd of January 2022. So 
the, it came to our bank union bank account so i'm going to deploy deb, debit union bank account with the exact amount quickbooks is showing me as the amount that is not re, is not reconciled let me go back to that amount this is 499 499.75 i'm right on that 0.75 so i can make that entry can make the entry now make journal entries so oh uh, this is four four nine 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 point seven five then I'm going to credit our investment income account investment income account investment income so this is our investment income account I've cleared that so I'm going to give it a name being returns on our mutual fund so i've done this now this is going to reconcile the statement so i haven't done that i'll now click save and close yes so i'll come back to my quickbooks if i check on it now if i check on it now because now it's showing that i've recorded it on my quickbooks so i can now check it as cleared so once i check it as cleared I will have no difference so once your difference turns to zero it means you have completed your reconciliation process so i can now click on reconcile now so ever have to call on them no okay so i've done my bank reconciliation now they say congratulations your account is balanced all mark items have been cleared in the account register select the type of reconciliation report you would like to see so after doing your bank reconciliation you may want to generate your bank reconciliation report maybe to submit to your boss that i did a bank reconciliation for the month of january and this is the report so this is where we're going to generate our report so you can choose to generate the report in summary in details or both but i want to get a detailed bank reconciliation report so i now click on this now click on save display so this is our bank reconciliation report as we want it to be this uh, bank reconciliation report i can always export to excel and send to my boss so thank you for watching please do well to share subscribe and like the video thank you